The National Museum of African American History and Culture is the newest Smithsonian Museum occupying the last building site on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. The building is wrapped in 3,600 bronze-finished decorative panels that form a corona inspired by the three-tiered crowns used in Yoruban art. As the only non-white building on the mall, it was decided early on that the building needed to be lit for a suitable nighttime presence. The challenge was to develop a design that captured the dignity of the building and its prominent location, while being responsible to the budget and environment. The ground floor of the museum has a continuous glass curtain wall, but the vast majority of the building is completely covered in dark metallic panels. This continuous array of panels meant any scheme needed to cover nearly an acre of area. Initial designs relied on light that would leak from the overlaps in the corona tiers. So the lighting design team's job became one of intervention, allowing the building mass to appear more lively, transparent, and less tomb-like. The building skin consists of a sandwich with glass panels forming the outer envelope of the building. Designers wanted to illuminate the glass to silhouette the patterned metal. Adding a minimal frit of small dark dots to the glass curtain wall have a negligible effect on views looking out from the building and provide a sufficiently lightable surface to reveal the basket weave nature of the metal panels. At the top of each tier, designers identified a common location to place fixtures, allowing a consistent downward aiming angle and eliminating light pollution. At the time of specification, LED had not yet evolved to drop in price, dictating T5 fluorescent fixtures. To satisfy various conservation and historical requirements for Washington's monumental core district, the fully lighted building needed to blend with other buildings on the mall and not compete with the Washington Monument. Designers tuned the brightness accordingly throughout a series of mock-ups and surveys. The final lighted result renders the building facade as a porous screen, allowing one to appreciate the life and activity within.